Hey everybody, it's me again, AKMan 1984 and I'm back today to show you the code for the Cori I made. And now, uh, if you don't remember how this was working, it was just uh, a little box with the X position, the Y position, and the Z position, which we figured out that these are kind of not correct, but according to the uh, according to this, that's how they had it set up. So. Um, and if you look in in here, the uh, X position is actually longer than I, I have it reading in the in the machine there, and the, and the a Z position is the same thing. But you don't really need all these numbers. And uh, and the only, and another thing I figured out that is the speed does not work. You can't see how fast it's working, so this information is pretty useless. And also uh, here, the Cori status will update once you turn it on. So we'll turn it on, and then it starts going. And you see here, it says on, and it starts going. So if we look at it, it's trying to go get the uh, that um, piece of dirt over there, and then. Uh, see if we look at it here, it's. Now it's going back to get another dirt. And then I'm just going to continue on its way. So if we turn this off, it's going to take some time to turn off. But sometimes when you do this, uh, it does not update because the head is there. And when the head's there, um, that means it's still active. Um, hopefully it's gonna work now. So I'll just I'll just cut when it stops working. So I finally stopped moving, and let's see if it update. Okay, so yeah, here it, it did update it. Uh, but like I said, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it uh, just doesn't update. Let's try to do a test here. Okay, and then if I turn on and off, it should start going, it should stop in a short second. Alright, so see here, now it stopped, and it didn't update the status, which kind of sucks. But uh, there's nothing really I can do about that. That's how it is. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the coding for this and how it works. So I already have the code uh, in the background. And uh, this code is almost, like I said in the last one, it's almost the same as the uh, the uh, reactor and all the stuff. So you need to have CC sensors running. And the first thing you do is determine what uh, sensor you want. Like I said, you don't have to do it exactly how I do it. You don't have to name it Cori sensor. Um, it doesn't really matter how you name it and also here also this doesn't really matter how you name it but uh, just uh, it's always good to naming your your sensors but it doesn't really mean anything. So here you can Here you can put anything you, know, what you want, but make sure when you write whatever you want to make sure that all the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you is the same. So Cori equals data1, which means that if you look in the sensors, it's the only sensor there, so it's the first one. So that's the data1, and then we get uh, get sensor information which and then we do Cori sensor again we set the range of the Cori sensor to 2 um, here if it's further it's uh... yeah I can put 1 but I always put 2 anyways. so 2 and then get uh... get the probes so it uh... here it's gonna get the probes for the sensor and here we want probe 5. 
All right, so if we go into the CC Center console program, so we see that there's only one sensor available. And then here we have 11 probes, and we want the one, two, three, fourth one. So like I showed you here, uh, sorry, um, did I count that right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, sorry. Yeah, I don't know how to count. Anyways. Um, so we want the fifth one, so it starts from here, one, two, three, four, five. So we want the fifth one, and then once we have that determined, we get the available targets, and the only available target, oops, sorry, the only available target is this one. Now it's kind of hard to read it. Um, let's. I'm just going to try something. Let me try to change this to one. See if it makes a difference. I don't think so, but we'll see. Okay, so it didn't make much difference, but uh, um, it's usually the one that says buildcraft dot factory, and these are the transport pipes here. So you want that first one. So here we have the target of the first one. And here, if we re do the reading, it shows you the reading of the uh, of of the quarry. So, if we run this from here, and we just click on get reading, see so it changes the information. See now, max energy doesn't change. Head position and Z position and X position only change. So that's kind of a bummer. So, once we have all that set up, and we do the last thing we do is get sensor reading as dictation, and then we do query sensor, query target, and query probe. Then we can start setting some variables. The first variable you need to put is query speed. Now, here again, you can put this to anything you want, and also you could do like that a capital capital. Q, but uh, just remember what you put and how you put it, and um, and then once you do that, you do equals data dot speed. Now this gets the information of the data that's in the speed of the CC sensors, which is doesn't work. But I mean, if you wanted to use it, this is how you use it. The next thing you do is x equals data dot head pose x. Now this gets the position of the x uh, of the head in the C scene sensor. Same thing for y and same thing for a z. The next thing, the the next uh, variable you need to put is query in progress equals data dot in prog uh, process. Sorry, not progress, process. This is the uh, the information it gets from the uh, the CC sensors that says that it's if it's uh, true here see in process true and if it's not uh, in process so then it's going to be false so once you get all these variables done you set up your box now I've changed my um, changed the way I have how I do it now every time I and print a box. I just do an empty box in a function. So, like this is how I do it from now on. And then here, the first thing, first uh, the other function that you do is draw display. Now you don't have to name this uh, draw display, but I mean it's whatever you want. So once you that do that, um, you do the function of the display box. So prints out it shows the box here and then this this code you don't need but then it's um, so that after that is done um, first thing you do is print out the information so the first information you print to the location here is Cory head position uh, head X position and then dot 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 x and the same thing for y and same thing for z it has to be written exactly like this and it's going to give you the information from the variables that you've set up here 
So, and then here, um, the query speed uh, that uh, is in the variable here. So, see here how query speed is the same as query speed here. Like I said, these variables have to be the same way that you, whatever whatever you want to put, but just don't forget how you put them. And then they have to be the same, or else it's not going to work. So once you have that set up, uh, now this is the part where um, it gets a little different. So this is how I turn into turn a true or false statement into a on off uh, print command. So the first command here you have is if Cori process equals true, then print Cori status on. So when it's true, it's going to print out Cori status is on. When it's false, and it's going it's to print out Cori status is off. Now here, see it's true, and then the Cori is not working now. So uh, that's why it's it's a bug in CC sensors. Actually, I think it's a bug in TechKit or something. I don't know exactly, but <clears throat> but uh, that's why it's showing true in my in my programming S and then once you have all that done you make it sleep for one second or mo one millisecond actually and then you do the draw display again so basically this is looping itself uh, continuously um, yeah uh, and it has to be the way I've done it here so it has to be end, then sleep, and then end, and then draw display, and then end again. So I'm going to put this code for download in the link to, in the description below so you guys can get it. And you can play around with it. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Thanks for all my new subscribers, and thanks for everyone who liked my uh, last videos. It's, uh, it's going good, guys. I've reached 300 subscribers, which is really awesome. I thank you everyone for uh, supporting me and keep doing it, and I'll give you more stuff to, to play around with. If anything you want, just comment in the comments below, and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you later.